Let's get some wisdom from Proverbs chapter 5. Nothing but sin and bones. Dear friend, pay close attention to this, my wisdom. Listen very closely to the way I see it, then you will acquire a taste for good sense. What I tell you will keep you out of trouble. The lips of a seductive woman are oh so sweet. Her soft words are oh so smooth. But it won't be long before she's gravel in your mouth, a pain in your gut, a wound in your heart. She's dancing down the primrose path to death. She's hated straight for hell and taking you with her. She hasn't a clue about real life, about who she is or where she's going. Wow, that's really descriptive, isn't it? I love that. All young men should be reading that. <laughs> Verse 7, So, my friend, listen closely. Don't treat my words casually. Keep your distance from such a woman. Absolutely stay out of her neighborhood. You don't want to squander your wonderful life, to waste your precious life among the hard-hearted. Why should you allow strangers to take advantage of you? Why be exploited by those who care nothing for you? You don't want to end your life full of regrets, nothing but sin and bones, saying, Oh, why didn't I do what they told me? Why did I reject a disciplined life? Why didn't I listen to my mentors or take my teachers seriously? My life is ruined. I have in one blessed thing to show for my life. Let's not end our life like that, okay? Verse 15, never take love for granted. Do you know the saying, drink from your own rain barrel? Draw water from your own spring-fed well? It's true. Otherwise, you may one day come home and find your barrel empty and your well polluted. Your spring water is for you and you only, not to be passed among strangers. Bless your fresh flowing fountain. Enjoy your wife you married as a young man, lovely as an angel, beautiful as a rose. Don't ever quit taking delight in her body. Never take her love for granted. Why would you trade enduring intimacies for cheap thrills with a whore, for dalliance with a promiscuous stranger? Mark well, God doesn't miss a move you make. He's aware of every step you take. The shadow of your sin will overtake you. You'll find yourself stumbling all over yourself in the dark. Death is the reward of an undisciplined life. Your foolish decisions trap you in a dead end. Wow, some really great wisdom from Proverbs chapter 5. And I would love to answer any questions you may have about faith in Jesus. You can contact me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. I hope you have a blessed day living for Him.